Pleased to welcome Emma Put, the Executive Director from Amgen, and uh, in today's next talks, the interview will be certainly epic. Uh, but first, uh, Emma, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Dario, and thank you for having me join you today. Thank you, Emma, and let's deep dive into our uh, question deck. And the first question is, uh, Emma, you are for sure one of the most unconventional people in pharma whom I know. So what is your driver to be such diverse, creative and passionate individual um thank you i i think i've always had a huge amount of curiosity in my life and as a child i was always really encouraged to to try um and experience things so the, the emphasis was always on experience rather than actual things and um you know i've always had a huge passion for learning for writing for for many different influences and and i think it's reflected you know uh, i have a huge interest in science and and medicine but equally i have a huge um interest in in everything around it and how we can make um things work better so um i think all of that together encourages me to take a lot of inspiration from from everything and, and other industries around thanks a lot next question you are very famous uh, of your running initiative and with whom you are funding actually charity, which is very noble indeed. So how do you came up with such great idea? Um, so a lot of it is is born also out of personal experience. So for me, running is, is a huge mental support. So forcing yourself to take that break um, is very important. And, and you can give more to other people if you also take care of yourself. And, and something that I probably ignored for a few years. Um, running for me is, is a very mindful experience. I try sometimes to be present in, in the moment, in the surroundings, in you know everything and, and look at and, and observe and, and really experience. But um, equally, it's a time that I allow my mind some freedom that it becomes more creative. So for me, it's, it's you know, a huge benefit. Um, during COVID, I've really seen people, um, you know, work incredibly hard and, and, you know, incredibly at risk of burnout or really focusing too much because they're at home and they don't take the breaks. So also I wanted to role model for my teams, um, but also for other people around that, hey, it's important to take that balance and to make sure you do take that break. Um, so that was, I guess, part of it. Last year, I really committed to running a thousand miles um, <laughs> or more than a thousand miles for, to raise money for charity. And this year, based on also the feedback from others, I wanted to give people the chance to, to kind of take that step with me. Um, you can also do a lot more together. And for me, it's also a lot more rewarding to be serving charities or groups I maybe didn't know, but also to be partnering with someone on the experience, to be helping each other on a day to day basis to get motivated. Um, so really, yeah, it's, it's about, um, you know, ensuring you're looking after yourself. Um, you know, we do feel good to do things for other people. And it's something for me, you know, when I reflect on what the people um, that are impacted by the organizations or, or groups that we're supporting are going through, you know, that, that I, I keep saying, but, you know, the least I can do for them is have a little run. I mean, it's a long run, um, but uh, it's, you know, a great opportunity um, to feel like you're really doing something impactful. Thank you very much, Emma. Emma, next question. Uh, since obviously you're such a kind person, does that actually reflect to your leadership style? And how does your leadership style look like? Look like? Um, I would hope so. <laughs> so yes, um, it's it's really important for me. Um, you know, I want to encourage and ensure that I give the best to to everybody. Um, you know, I I really in 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 managerial or coaching or mentoring, it's really important that I give that that best. Um, in every situation. And I think it's really an honor and a privilege to be able to do so. Um, so absolutely, for me, you know, listening is hugely important, making sure you find the time to be present and really, you know, investing in 
the relationship building so not just getting always down to business obviously you have to be appreciative of the different people and the different ways that they want to interact and and you know connect with you and maybe not everybody wants to have that 15 minutes conversation in in general but ensuring that you're paying attention to to the points um around the edges or the things that are not being said and and really picking up on non-verbal cues um i think it's really important as a manager and and really anticipating so um you know i really do um pride myself on the emotional intelligence side and and it's really important um i think it's also important to be authentic and and be comfortable with who you are and be comfortable letting people see who you are um and as much as i would like to say that i'm really always well put together and and you know um 100 professional i'm actually really clumsy i actually have a lot of things and i think being able to humor and, and laugh at yourself um it, it really allows people to see that you know uh, we're all going through this you know i had a great uh, opportunity to speak to people at a collegium we held and uh, you know we started the conversation we were talking about resilience and i started the conversation explaining that that morning i'd gone for a run and it was really muddy and i'd taken a route and i ended up falling over in the field um several times and i came back you know covered in mud and then i had to get myself rapidly ready for this um you know engagement but i think just sharing your human side as well i think is really valuable and and you know it just enables that that greater connection and in the end people will give more when they believe either in your vision so i think you know that's another part of it but also in you and what that you believe in them so i think they're the, the critical parts of my leadership thanks a lot emma very inspiring next question uh, you are very known for expertise in medical affairs, right? And uh, my question to you would be, how do you motivate people to align medical information and uh, articulate the science in a proper way? Because we saw that in the last 24 months, that might be an issue, so. I think, um, you know, for me, it, it's a huge opportunity right now to to think about things. We can't get away from the core values and the, the you know, the credibility of medical, the science, and we shouldn't. But we have to understand that there is so much more um, that people expect in their daily life. And, you know, a lot of our um, time that we want to have with um, healthcare professionals now is the time that they would otherwise be dedicating to either you know um, personal activities social media um, watching their favorite um, episode of something on Netflix or um, Amazon Prime or something so um, you know we have to be mindful of the way that we're doing that and we have to you know take away from almost an arrogance of assuming that because we've always given a very good and you know um well addressed lecture for an hour um in the past that that's how people still want to consume it so it's a really um critical balance between ensuring the credibility and the, the science and that that doesn't get lost you don't want to turn this into a gimmick or something but at the same time you know being mindful that maybe a 10 or 15 minute segment but something that's more frequently delivered or um you know having people be able to access um instead uh, other materials like a, a you know a caricature or a kind of like doodle sort of thing that's, that's prepared throughout a presentation or really you know the summaries or infographics that these are you know just as important these days and we have to be mindful of, of not just time but how people want to consume it I think we can learn a lot about di people's digital behavior and um, you know we have to we have to look at that and and be not afraid to continually um, iterate or improve and and those even small incremental things um, can make such a difference in in impact in reach in you know and, and also having people to re-engage with you because they they see that each time it's getting a little bit better mm, exactly exactly next question uh, from this typical question block uh, what was actually your best leadership advice which you received and uh, maybe still inspires you today Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really um, down to that last point is is um, not being afraid, not being afraid to innovate, to try. Um, I, I last a uh, couple of years ago, I I was encouraged by uh, a leader, a manager at the time to to take um, a MIT course that was probably really outside of where I would have 
you know typically gone for um and it was very technical and it was very it was something that i was a little surprised that it was recommended but um i i think it was incredibly um liberating and also inspiring because um i realized that i put myself in a box that i was happy being in um but actually i realized through that experience that actually i was in a very different box and i you know then i i really became less afraid of pushing and trying and questioning more and being more curious and, and really, um, you know, going back to that that was already in me, but I'd forgotten maybe about her over the time. So I think it's really um, been a great part of, of the now my philosophy is really not being afraid to ask the questions. Um, and I think, you know, I'm very fortunate in that I'm in a in an organization in a group where it's you know th there is that safety that that uh, you know it's encouraged um and and i think you know that is equally important that you foster that and that people feel able to do it because i think that's when you're going to achieve the most um the most innovation and the most progress thanks a lot emma and let's move forward to our favorite part the quick fire questions uh the first one people or ideas people every time yeah you need the people to, to back up the ideas thanks a lot absolutely and fully agree favorite musician it's too hard <laughs> it's really too hard music is hugely important and you know i reflect and always remember a lot of events and things relating to music um when i'm running maybe it's more rock or rap or or dance music depending on where i am in a marathon as to what i need um but you know equally i love uh classical music even folk music everything inspires me thank you emma swimming or running or both <laughs> <laughs> both um, but I think I'm, I am a water baby um, and uh, probably swimming would take it. <clears throat> Thank you. What means family to you in one single word? Everything. It, it's everything. Um, it's hard, but it's everything. <laughs> Fully underline that. And uh, how actually to start charity work? Give us please your simple advice. Um, <sighs> I think, you know, find something that you're passionate about, that you are um, interested in. Um, it can be anything, you know, it can be, it doesn't have to be running. It can be, you know, even baking. Um, you know, I, I remember as a, a child, I did a sponsored um, silence, which I'm sure my kid, my, my family loved. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I did also a sponsored kind of um, uh, famine or, um, you know, where you would just abstain from eating for 24 hours to raise money. Um, I think, you know, just choose something and, and these days it's really easy to do, to do it, you know, on the platforms that are available, Just Giving is one of them that I use a lot, but it's really easy, they, you know, you can put what you want, you put your ambition, you select your charity, they connect you with the charity, so you receive also input from the charity, often the charity will, you know, give you a t-shirt or something and it helps motivate you, they keep reminding you, you know, oh, maybe, you know, send another message, so actually to raise money and, and to get involved in charity these days is, is super easy, and then otherwise, you know, within your, your community, around you you know now um you know we, we we do some work also with the the school where my my children um are attending or or you know other people within your your community and just coming together with an idea thank you emma very inspiring interview thank you very much for taking part it was epic as, as mentioned at the very beginning and uh, see you in may in the running thanks a lot absolutely thank you bye bye